How much of your nightly routine is lit up by a bright screen? For all of human history until the last few decades, the sun was Earth's only source of blue light. Our bodies use blue light as a signal that it's time to be awake, so we tend to feel more attentive, have faster reactions, remember things more easily, and generally feel better during the day. Once the sun goes down, the lack of blue light signals our bodies that it's time to sleep. Biologically, we just aren't used to the concept of artificial blue light, which is where it can become a problem in the modern day. When we light up our phones or computers before we go to bed, we're blasting our brains with a subconscious signal that it's not time for sleep, even if it's very late. Our brains respond by holding back on releasing melatonin, a crucial neurotransmitter for sleep. As a result, it takes us longer to fall asleep and our overall quality of sleep is worse, leading to more of the negative health effects of sleep deprivation. One way we can avoid the sleep issues that come with artificial blue light, is to put our devices away in the last hour before we go to bed. Night mode can also cut the blue light out so that the screen doesn't send those subconscious signals. The proximity of blue light to UV radiation on the electromagnetic spectrum initially had many optometrists concerned that it could harm our eyes in a similar way, such as by increasing the risk of age-related macular degeneration. Fortunately, that seems unlikely because the screens we use emit very little blue light compared to the sun.